All right, so this is gonna be a video of me uh, swapping out my IGL line. This right now is set up for Mayhem Mills 2. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video, a separate separate video of me just going over this build and why I went with the things that I did. I'm still trying it, things out. I do wanna change the um, grip. I wanna change uh, the stock and might change out the rail for a slimmer rail. But as of right now, I'm cool with this. Um, one thing I want to note, I know the colors don't really match up. I might even just powder coat them the same color or something like that, or just close the dust shield. My new IGL line, um, I got King Kong on the side. That's my nickname if everybody didn't know. I went with a simple gray, uh, or this can be like white. But essentially, this goes in there like so. And comes out the, the grip and you can hook up your tank to it because the one that it comes with just trash i keep blowing this thing off these lines are under pressure like high pressure and i just keep blowing them off i run about <clears throat> upwards of like 120 psi and up from there on this build and i just keep blowing this thing off and it's starting to get annoying we're gonna start by disassembling we're gonna pop this out so, get the suffer off of it. Now, we have this. I'm gonna put that pin back in so we can sit flat. Knock this out. Like so. And when you do this, you wanna get like a little thing that you can put all your parts in there so you don't lose anything. We'll go ahead and punch this out too as well. So now we're gonna remove the stock. Stock is removed. Now we have this portion to work with. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna tackle that Allen key. For me personally, I like to kinda reassemble, put the uh, put that screw back in there and give it like one or two turns. To hold it in place not throw that in there now it's time to tackle the screws that's in the grip got one out so it's a total of four but i only have two screws in there um, slides right off put the screws in there don't lose them put that somewhere else this part the back of the stock spacer this slides right out so as you can see Normally you have screws along this. I just have four screws in. Speaking of these screws, Home Depot doesn't sell these screws. I looked. And Lowe's doesn't sell these screws either. They stop at like M4, uh, metric four. Freaking st stupid. I mean, they start at it. They don't stop at it. They start at metric four. So you have to like custom order these screws, which is kind of lame. I'm gonna set them aside. Right now, flip it over this way, take it off. Now we're at the good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that out from underneath the trigger without removing the trigger. Now we are just going to take some pliers that I have, grab it firmly, and we're just gonna turn. Oh wow, I'm turning the whole thing. Uh, I just turned the whole character. You don't want to turn the whole entire character. You just want to maybe take your two fingers, put put it right there, and get a good grip and start loosening. It shouldn't be on there that tight. If it's on there that tight, then you have an issue. But we're just going to unthread. Uh, I can see the person put some Teflon tape on there. Maybe I should do the same. I don't think I need to because this IGL line comes with the O-ring that simply screws back on. But I'm just gonna grab some Teflon tape. Let's, I, let's be safe, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to have any issues with this. All right, so now we got the Teflon tape. I'm just gonna rip that much off. 
Make sure this is evenly done. Make sure the O-ring is pushed back. And now I'm just gonna simply make sure I don't put it in the middle so I don't block any of the air. Maybe like two, three passes. And just gonna rip the excess off. Twist around a little bit. Take the Kythera, start threading this in. I might need a different tool to tighten it. All right, now we're just gonna grab the tank and just test for any leaks. Okay, doesn't sound like it's any leaks. Let's shoot it real quick. So also another word, uh, way that you can test for leaks, if you get some like soapy water and just spray it on that part, you can check if it's if it starts to bubble or not, but mine's didn't, so we're cool. Now, I'm just gonna take this, slide it back underneath the trigger, and start to reassemble. So I kinda gotta, I have to snake it through like that in order for it to stay because it's way too long. So I gotta hold it, and now, hopefully this is not too long and it doesn't get in the way. I feel like it might, but let's see if we can close it. Okay, it closes perfectly while holding it together. I'm just gonna flip it over. Okay, now that I have the screws in place, I got two up here and two right here. Uh, ideally, you'll want to have all the screws in place, but I don't have all the screws, so just going to send it. Now, let's start the reassembly process. I'm going to put the grip on, which I do want to change this. I'm not a big fan of this. But it works. Oh, this line doesn't fit now. Uh, what I have to do is I'm going to heat up. I need to heat up this uh, screwdriver and actually bore this out. So I have like this really old soldering iron. I'm just going to heat this up and make that hole bigger for the IGL line to fit. Please don't forget to share this video, like the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe if you're new. All right, see you on the next one. Perfect.